obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. In this project, the radiation effect on a dome-shaped building is simulated using ANSYS Fluent software. The present problem simulates the heat transfer inside the interior of a mosque. In the present case, it is assumed that heat transfer takes place into two modes of convection and radiation. In fact, the building's indoor heating source is powered by solar energy and a heat source used on the ground floor of the mosque. The heat transfer between the side walls of the mosque, the roof of the mosque, and its dome is done with the free air flow of the surrounding environment, with a temperature of 309 Kelvin and the heat transfer coefficient of 10. Radiant heat transfer is also carried out on the side walls, roof, and dome of the mosque due to the radiation of sunlight and assuming an absorption coefficient of 0.8 for the surfaces. Therefore, the radiation model is used to simulate the present problem. Since it is assumed that the material of the mosque building and the glass used on it has high absor absorption coefficient, the Rosaland method is suitable. The solar load model has also been used to apply the effect of solar radiation. The geometry of the present project is designed in S Design Modeler and consists uh, consists of a dome, side walls, floor, roof, and several interior columns. The meshing is done using ANSYS meshing software and the mesh type is unstructured and total element number is equal to 674,066. By clicking on the Report Quality dialog box, you will see that in the Console tab, the Fluent software will start to check your mesh quality. For example, you will see that the Fluent software will give you the orthogonal quality and as maximum aspect ratio. Since the materials used in this building has high absorption coefficient, Rosaland model has been activated. Also, for solar load, solar ray tracing model is activated. Now, in order to define the sine direction vector, you can either enter the values for x, y, and z direction yourself, or you can use direction computed from sol solar calculator. To do this, you just need to click on solar calculator and a new window will appear. In the appear window, under the global position section, you can define the longitude and latitude and time zone of your desired place. Also, you can set the mesh orientation degrees based on your preferences. You can also set the date and time of the simulation in order to make your simulation even more real. As for the final settings, you, will, you can see that the fair weather condition with sunshine factor of 1 has been selected for this project. Since you are investigating the airflow inside an enclosed area, you can see that there is no inlet or outlet in this section. By clicking on the radiation tab, you will see that the BC type for this boundary is defined to be opaque, since no solar rays enters from this boundary. After clicking on the thermal tab, you will see that the thermal condition of this wall is defined to be heat flux, and the heat flux for this boundary is set to be zero, which means that this boundary is adiabatic. By clicking on this boundary and then click on, clicking on edit, you will see that the wall motion and shear condition for this wall is set to be stationary wall and no sleep. By clicking on the thermal tab, you will see that the thermal condition for this boundary is set to be on convection. Also, you can see that the heat transfer coefficient is equal to 10 and free stream temperature is equal to 309 Kelvin. The BC type for this boundary is defined to be opaque. Also, solar ray tracing participation is activated for this boundary and adsorption coefficient is equal to 0.8. and the other options available for each variable under their combo list. And for the simple pressure velocity coupling, uh, the simple algorithm is kind of an iterative solver, which uses a relationship between velocity and pressure correction to enforce mass conservation and to obtain the pressure field. In the section contours of pressure, velocity, temperature, and velocity vectors are extracted and presented to you using CFP Post software. For example, in this slide and next to a slide, you can see the distribution of pressure and velocity and temperature in 3D format. Just like the instruction in the previous slide, 
if you want to see different different contours on this plane, you just need to click on contours and accept the appear dialog box. Then in the appear window, uh, in the location section, we need to check. We need to select our uh, defined plane. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Master CFT services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at Hope you enjoy.